Welcome. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Resident Evil 3 Remake. Uh, we just got the battery pack for the detonator. Uh, we discovered last time that liquors are in this game, so that's pleasant. And, uh... DCM. Gotcha. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's always a good time. Just in case I have to blow up a liquor. I'm going to save really quick. By the way, I should have probably mentioned this a while ago, but I'm playing all these episodes in a row, so uh, your comments are always welcome, but uh, unfortunately they might not. If you want, have any suggestions for gameplay, they won't be very helpful. Uh, let's see. Yep, I knew that body would remove. All right. So yeah, those combinations are the same as they were in the original game, or in, in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. So uh, if you knew them, if you remembered them... Carlos, I've hit a dead end on the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Why'd you set it for three seconds? At least give yourself ten seconds. Jeez. Ah, and that's how that ended up getting busted open. Shit. Ow. Alright. That was tense. Should be more should be more items in here somewhere. That's a diamond key door. Alright, I hope he's in here.
Dr. Bard. Oh, God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send... Send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. Jeez. I like him already. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer to see if I can trace the doc's location. Okay. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Will do. First aid spray, always useful. Red herb, always useful. We're very, being very generous with these first aid sprays in Carlos's campaign. Flashbang. Wesker's office. Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in the man in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of murder of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the heads of the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five of stars. Of stars. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiment being carried out by a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult, and it was rejected. That's everything. There's no save room, save uh, in this room, is there? No. Okay. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? What? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. Okay. I guess we're done with Carlos' section for now.
Find a way above ground. I'm fine. <laughs> it's funny. Am I the only one who made it? Probably. Hopefully, uh, Nemesis will be out for a while, considering he took a, uh, high-grade high grade explosive to the face. New weaponry notice. Good luck, Limp Dicks. I've got some new weaponry uh, for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. Okay. They're called Mine Rounds. These babies were developed by... Umbrella military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me. They're worth it. All right. Let's look at the specs Mine rounds are designed to for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else Fire them at walls on the or on the ground and they'll stay right where you put them the sensors of the mine will detect approaching enemies that detonate when they get in the range. So basically, if you toss them in an enemy's path, and you got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as uh, unfair when you're taking out giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. Okay. Let's save it. Because why not? More mine rounds. Nice. Nothing in here. Oops, wrong uh, weapon. I think one mine round for uh, three zombies was a good trade. I'm not going to get... I don't even know why I did that. I'm not going to get all of them. Maybe in a future uh, playthrough, I'll use a guide to find them all. Walker's still alive. I can't stay here. Of course he's still alive. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, good—a big, wide open space. Clock tower brochure. Saint Michael's clock tower. Saint Michael's clock tower is a a baroque style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. 
St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. City saw further growth during the electrification over the course of the 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Fortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered, shuttered in 1978 as the, begin, building, the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed uh, with this once beloved monument and the public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with the mayor, Michael Warren, to renovate and reopen the area, as this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993. Today, the sound of its heavy tolling bell can once again be heard around Raccoon City. One small issue you could say this game has is that uh, everything's so fast-paced and energetic and there's so many zombies around and you got a nemesis chasing you that you don't have time to look around and enjoy how pretty this game is. You know, minus the blood and gore. Still items down here somewhere. Here's an item. Okay. <coughs> Heard this game is about six hours long, so I'm about halfway through it. Though I have been taking my time, so. Hello. You're not? Are you sure about that? Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's bad. Jesus Christ. He got big. Fire was good to him. Please tell me I don't have to fight this thing now. God, he got huge. Okay. Ouch. Oh, just caution.
Okay. Okay. There's a item over here. Mine rounds. All these things don't last. I save my mind rounds. Why won't he go down? Is there anything else in this area? Yes, there is. Ouch.
Are you dead now? Jesus. You still there? Come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. Got a lot of shotgun around, so. Shit. Nice. Not nice. Uh oh. Hi, Nikolai. You've done me a big thing. Miss. Now, could he be more comic book evil? Seriously. Roughly half a day later. Jill! Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. It's interesting that they're going back and forth between them. I think uh, Carlos only had one section, and that was the hospital in the original. <laughs> yeah, well, he must be really trusting, considering he's dead. It's an affected person within biting distance of his neck. Oh, good, the Spencer Memorial Hospital, where they were treating the cannibals. Fight it, Jill. I'm going to get you the vaccine. Okay. You're going to be okay. I promise. Well, that was a really intense fight. For now, uh, we're going to call it quits. As always, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any... If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, and take care.